Pasalamatan muna natin ang ating mga radio partners over at 90.7 Love Radio, 101.1 Yes FM, 96.3 Easy Rock at ang ating mga kapatid over at DZSR 918 AM Sports Radio. We open this second quarter of action. Benji Santiago, kasama yung nagtatakin na Jalsi A. Escobar. Ginagawa na yun, tatatanggal yung takin. Na nag-ayos ng damit ah. Pag-umargent po, kasama din natin si Jason Webb. Together with Sal Guevara, completing our trio. Talk and Text will have possession to open this second frame. And they will send in Edwin Akari, Alapag, Anthony Ponasher and Aban. Makakatapat si na Helterbrand. Wilson, Barakael, Kagiwa, and Kirby Raimundo. So with Maya Hopper with two fouls and Mamaril with three, Coach Ato now leans on Kirby. Only oh. second game here in the Governor's Cup. And right away, he picks up a personal foul. And then number 21, Kirby Raimundo, his first. First foul for Barakael. He never second. Two free throws, Harvey Garrett. Harry steady on that first as Castro comes back in papalitan si Alapag. Harry goes two for two. Good enough for a two-point lead para sa tropa. Wilson Tokagiwa looking for a helter band. JJ wants to post up against Castro. Barakael's in trouble. Six to shoot. Hand off to Kagiwa. And Mark. The Spark has now scored his ninth point. And that's what you have to do when the ball is dead or the man with the basketball can't really do anything. You have to continuously move and make yourself available. That's why Nakuan ng Tira does si Mark Kagiwa. Anthony looking to attack. Hands it off Palabas ke Castro. Anthony again against Barakael. Anthony kicks out, papunta kay Carey, and the shot oh, put is good for Harvey. Not bad, para kay Harvey Carey, coming in off the bench already with six points. And as a whole, that talking text bench, and laking naambag, kung ikokumpara mo, dun sa bench ng Barangay Hinebra. That six-point performance to Carey already ties a tournament best performance for himself. Kagiwa sa poste, kick out pass, shot clock is almost out. Raimundo... Misses, pero natapik na rin palabas sa kanya ni Wilson. Helter Brand with a pull-up. 16-footer is good. And you can see para kay JJ Helter Brand has supreme confidence once again. He's actually looking for a shot every time he gets into the game. Castro against JJ. Gusto bumawi ni Dabler. Pero JJ is caught reaching in. Castro troops to the line for two shots. That's his first. Second team for Barca Two shots, Jason Castro. Castro averaging better than 12 points, 5 rebounds and 5 assists for all game. As Anthony is relieved by Peak. 2 for 2 para dito kay Jason. Barely 2 minutes into the second frame. As high scoring as it is thus far, Jason, parang hindi rin naman ganun kabilis yung pace ng game. Not much fast break section. Well, you know, because both teams actually shot very well in that first quarter. They both shot at 50% and uh, turnovers, it's not that great for both teams. Bonacher steps back. 18-footer is a miss. Ali underneath loses that rebound. Helter ran over to Kagiwa on the run. Mark looking to attack. Down the gut of the defense. Kagiwa is in double digits. Already with 11 points is Mark Kagiwa. Started out very strong and, and actually looking for, looked for a shot early. Remember, in this game, he's going to play a little bit more minutes because he's start to Castro, his kick out, bothered by Kagiwa. Now, he's going to be the baseline. Coach Norman Black is sending back in as he's going to import the Fels. Dahil bumalik na rin naman si Lohorn para sa Hinebra. Carey fakes off Raimundo. Harvey finishes with a left. Yeah, that is, those are surprise points because that's already eight. It's as well, that's already his conference best. 
38-36, it is DNP by two points. Aguila inside to Barakel, kick out pass, low horn from the baseline, that's good. Low horn has shot very well in this game, hardly missed so far. That's five out of six. Castro against Kagiwa. They get it over to Ali. Peak off the fadeaway. Right now, the big men of Talking Tex just uh, bringing it para to, to the uh, players of Barangay Hinebra, especially the local side. Talking Tex fighting just to try and get a chance for the playoffs. Pag nalalo ko ang tropa, nakakapagpwersa lang sila ng knockout game bukas. Kung sino lulusot into the quarterfinals. Kung Barangay Hinebra naman po lulusot dito, dere-derecho na sila into the next round, effectively eliminating Etong Token Tex and Air 21. Kagiwa to Lohorn. They go cross court to Barakael. Mack is tripped up or trips on himself and he loses that leather to the baseline. Meyer Hopper and Babalik para dito kay Kirby. Tenorio pumasok na rin ulit para naman kay Kagiwa. Fels goes to the right side. Lowhorn picks him up. Fels using his quickness. Drops it off to Carey. Oh. And Harvey oh. is in double digits. Ten points already para kay Harvey Carey. Tenorio nagmamadali. Wanting to get those two right back. But in defense ng tropa, nakababa din naman kagad. Lowhorn quick spin. Up fake. Lowhorn gets his two points. Oh. Nice move. A nice patient move on the part of Dior Lowhorn. 17 puntos na para dito kay Dior. Pero... Ang kanyang barangay is still down by two points. Fels sidestepping his way to a teardrop. He's got a total of eight. I expect to see Ellis back again. He was the guy that actually played better defense on Courtney Fels. Right on cue. Chris Ellis is making his way to the scorer's table. Ang tayo niya, susunod na dead ball situation. LA fakes the three. LA loses it. Reyes will push the action over to the blur and he explodes to the basket. Nice. <laughs> Jason Castro. Just like that, Talking Texas slapped on another six point lead. Talk about being on a mission. Mark the Spark Kagiwa reinserted into the starting lineup after the last four games coming off the bench. Grabe na kagat ang kanya naging performance dito. Talagang gusto niya. Toto Bigay ang kanyang ipapakita. Well, Mark Agui already has 11 points. And the nice thing about those 11 points is he's shooting at a very good clip. You can see he's at 5 out of 9. In the last game, he also had 11, but he was only 5 out of 17. And he's doing a lot of things other than scoring tonight. Already with 3 rebounds and 2 assists. So, maagang ang nagpaspark. Itong si Kagiwa. But they will need more of that later on. Pagbalik niya dahil down by 6 na sila. Helterbrand attacking Castro. Gets away. Sinalubong pa ni Pete. That's a personal on Ali. And at this stage of his career, you can see that JJ really has a little, He's got a little bit more confidence when he's playing that two guard. And he can, he can feed off yung mga ginagawa ni LA. Helterbrand takes care of the first. As we remind everybody, na ongoing po ang Cine Filipino Film Festival hanggang September 24. Cine Filipino, kwento ang hari. Coming up on the halfway mark ng ating second quarter. Fels with the leather. Pull up jumper, no. Harvey Carey keeps it alive. Castro did not want to pull the trigger. Reyes on the move, looking for carry on the curl. Lohorn takes it away. Castro and Maya Harper battle for it. Ellis against two. At magre reset muna ng atake ang Barangay Hinebra. Elderbrand through that Lohorn pick. Reyes to contend with. Five to shoot para sa mga nakapula. They go to the post. Lohorn's gotta go. Back irons that one, tapi ng bola. Ellis had a hand on it, pero 
Si Kari nakakontrol ng bola. Fells through a carry pick. Naiwan sa kanya si Rico. Ali puts it on the floor. Splitting two defenders. The guy, the guy is so big. Ito si Ali pick. Nadaanan na niya pa yung combination ni Ellis tsaka ni Meyerhofer. He never asking for that charge though. Before that. Man mountain yan. Lumusok po sa dalawang poste. Eh, no? Nasa pala bundok doon. Senorio. Gets it back over to Lohorn. That two-man game has been money para sa Inebra all tournament long. And Lohan already with 19 points. LA with 5 assists. Fels against Ellis. This time si Ali nagbigay ng pick. Ali receives. Squeezing one through. That's the problem. That's the problem of Barangay Inebra. And that what, that's what Talking Text continues to do. Their local crew in that big. Si mga big man ng Talking Text. Yeah, they're just destroying the, the big men of Barangay Ginebra on the local side. Elderbrand through that Meyerhofer pick. Goes over to Lohorn. He unleashes a three. Dior misses. Castro with that rebound. He surveys the floor. They will reset this attack. Castro looking to attack. Elderbrand in front of him. JJ is caught with a foul. Time out mato muna para dito sa Roman Texters up by six. Etong si Dior Lohorn is trying to do all he can para dito sa Barangay Nebra. Kahit last time around, naka 41 puntos nga siya. Sa gabing ito, may 19 na. He's gotten his own on the offensive event. Wala lang talaga makatulong sa kabilang dulo. And the points are there. Today, again, he already has the 19 points. Last game, he had 41. But the one thing that I think will be even more important sa kay para kay Dior Lohorn, although it's really ask, tough to ask for so much, Para sa barangay, Hinebra, they're going to need more rebounding from him. John Ferriols, part of that front line through ng Tropang Texers, continuing to punish itong barangay Hinebra. Largest lead of the contest na to, 8 puntos para sa TNT. Elderbrand looking for Lohorn. Ball kicked away by Punishev. Shot clock reset 14. And Kagiwa gets his chance to come back in. Ellis with the inbound from that right side. Wilson nakita si Tenorio. Lohorn with a pick. LA has Ferios and Alapaga on top of him. His pass taken away by Carey. Fels lines one up. No oh, good. LA surveys the floor. Ellis Aapake kicks it out. LA. In the lane. Gets manages to sneak one through. <laughs> At that point, really had to force that one up. Six points in the game para dito kay Tenorio. Alapag blows by him though. Gets it to carry. And that front line of long and legs continue to do damage inside the arena. Uh, let's compare Magu on one end. Para sa talking text, carry has 12. Ali Peak has 10 as we look at the same play. Maridel de Ocampo 5. And Sean Anthony 2. At saka si Ferriols 2. You look at the other side. Big men ng Barangay Hinebra. On the local side. Will Rico Meyerhofer 2. Wilson nothing. Billy nothing. Kirby nothing. Surely it will be addressed at the half. As Tenorio connects with Kagiwa once again. That is... One of a few bright spots para sa Inebra, the Tenorio, Kagiwa, and Lohorn connection. Yeah, the triumvirate. Those three have done their share, but then on the other end, kailangan mo talaga, kaya na may limang player dun sa point, kailangan yung lima nagtutulong-tulong. Alapag recovers. Gets it to carry. No look to Punisher. Trying to wrap it around. Papunta sana kay Ferriol. Good hands on the part of Willie Wilson. Alapag from the baseline. Ferriols fading away. Oh, good. Tenorio with the board. Tenorio looking to outrun Alapag. Nakatalikod pa si Carey. They go to Kagiwa for three. Alapag to Fels. No horn to beat. Nandotun din si Ellis. Fels lumipad. Gets the basket. Make a summer. 
Ellis will have to come from another position. Dahil hindi sila magkatapat sa offensive end. Bell Snake scared a bonus and Falcon Texas now up by nine points. Less than two minutes bago tayo bumalik sa Sports 5 Center at the half. Lohorn balikin Tenorio, back to Lohorn. They go Kagiwa on that left side. The spark against Spells. Off the spin! Yeah, you mentioned it earlier, those three, they're really doing everything that they can. Parang holy trinity sila dito, no? Nang barangay Hinebra. Gary, gusto mga labaw. Ferios from the baseline. In and out. L.A. Tenorio gets it across the timeline. L.A. looking for that space, drops it off to Dior. He is fouled by Carey. And he fouled for Harvey Carey. That's first. Two of the final places. Two of the those here at all. Anthony and Pete making their way back onto the floor with a little bit of Gabby and Ferriols. As we take a look at this Photon Thunder Drive brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. Barangay Nebra within five points after those two makes. Bells against two. Now Ellis gives him single coverage. Larry pulls the trigger. Erbol. Tenorio surveys the floor. Inebra is down by five. LA to Mark. Punisher on him. Kagiwa. Sinaw sa upa. Na ilang kay Peek. Pagdating sa dulo. Castro babawe. Fels lilipad. Napalakas. But he gets his own miss. And goes for the stick back. Pretty solid game for Courtney Fells as well. That's 13 points. And again, he's taking advantage of trying to leak out coming from that offensive end. That's two baskets now coming out of that fast break. Tenorio to the baseline. Wilson puts one up. But will through to the line for two shots. Yung Courtney Fels, ano, yung first impression na iniwan niya sa atin. He put up 28 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 steals. It looks like he's having an even better game here tonight. He's scoring better. And remember, he actually had more time to prepare with his teammates now. Compared to that first game. In that first game, it's more like a feeling out process. Ano ba makakuha ng... Uh, ng Mga local sa import and the import as well, realizing what his local teammates can do. Coach Norman Black wanted to map out the last possible play of this first half. Gusto nilang dagdagan itong five point lead na naitatag na nila. So less than a shot clock remaining here. Talk and Tex looking to live to fight another game. Kung sakasakaling sila lulusot. They will be involved in a knockout match tomorrow. Hindi naman sila papanarin. Dere-derecho na. Barangay Nebra into the quarterfinals. Air 21 won over Alaska to begin with. So, if Talking Tex wins over Hinebra by less than 22 points, so it's going to be Hinebra and Talking Tex for a playoff to beat Petron. Pero meron pang long shot na pinagdadasal dito ang Air 21. They did their part. They took down Alaska kanina. And now they are just hoping that Tokitex can win by 22 or more points para sila kalaban ng tropa bukas sa knockout game na yun. Castro now has seven to work with. He's got to go against Ellis. The blur exploding. Gets the basket. May bonus free to pa. The best point guard in Asia just took the rookie to school there, Jason. Yeah, they're playing good defense, Barangay Hinebra, for a good 18, 19 seconds, and then all of a sudden, there was a blur that passed. Three-point play completed, 2.5 to go. Ellis Gustum Bumawe, his Hail Mary. 
Medyo diretso. Nabitin ka lang. 62-54 is the score at the half. Ang Tokitex makakapagbaon po ng walong puntos sa kalamangan. How did they do it? Itong front line nila talaga namang tinumina. Ang barangay Nebra, Harvey Carey, Ali Beek, more Harvey Carey. Aba, talagang sinak sinakta nila at pininsala ang barangay dito sa loob ng MOA Arena.